So here we are going to complete the rat catcher's quest, hopefully. There we go, after much pain, you know, much pain and heartache, I absolutely despise this quest. I really don't recommend doing it. Um, it's a <laughs> it's a massive pain, um, especially going through those guards and I'm at the mansion just to kill a couple of rats. Um, it is, you know, it's, it was a massive pain to do, but I did manage to complete it now, 42 thieving. Uh, I now have access to a wily cat, I believe. I believe it's the wily cat, and uh, which is always awesome because now I can complete the Evil Dave part of Recipe for Disaster. Stupid fell crash. So I'm just doing my farm run, and I was literally just about to give up on making my cat into an overgrown cat. Uh, but I just got this message, your cat has gone into a, a mighty feline, but it will no longer be able to chase vermin. So what I can do now is I can actually go take this to the rat catchers, one of the rat catchers um, NPCs, and then train it into a wily cat, and then use that wily cat to then catch uh, rats or hell rats really, really quickly, making the Evil Dave part of Recipe for Disaster a... Um, not well, I guess not an annoyance. It's going to be very, very easy to catch myself all of those hell rats to complete this this part of the quest. So let's do a little jump for joy. Woo! There we go. Pretty old Slayer is a lovely name. So there we go, mm, Mr. Slayer. Mm -mm. There we go. Oh well, I thought his name would actually be Slayer when I right clicked him. Mm. Here we go. Three, two, one, bang. Golem quest complete. So the Evil Dave part of Recipe for Disaster took me a, a little bit longer than expected because I did need uh, two red spices, I needed three yellow spices, three orange spices, and three brown spices, and the most unlucky thing you can get is a combination of four, 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 and four, but I had two, three, three, and three, so I did get quite unlucky when it comes to the spicy stew, but then again, I did have my Wily Hellcat by my side, which is absolutely awesome. Um, I do recommend getting a wily, um, a wily Hellcat before you do the Evil Dave part of the quest because you know it's not really difficult to get the wily Hellcat. It doesn't really take long. It probably like three or four days or something like that. Um, and it does make the uh, Evil Dave part of Recipe for Disaster very, very easy. Um, and there we go. So there's 7,000 cooking experience. That won't really do anything, especially when I'm 70 now. But I that will unlock the ability for me to use uh, Rune gloves. So that's always nice. You've served me well, Mr. Uh, Mr. Wily Hellcat. And man, that looks like a demon in my inventory there. But I'm going to chuck this in the bank. I'm not sure when I'm going to see you next, my friend. But um, I now have the ability to use uh, rune gloves. Nothing too spectacular, I, I guess. But, um, you know, better than adding gloves. And I guess it's better than a combat bracelet. Um, so I'm pretty sure I've got to do... I'm going to have a little look now... So all I've got to do is begin the Legends quest, um, and then I'm pretty sure I can do the uh, the Sir Amic Vars part of the, um, I guess, of the, what's it called? Of the Recipe for Disaster, so that's always good. Uh, but I do need 175 quest points before I get those Barris Gloves, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it's definitely doable. Okay, kept so approaching 65 range, just like... Just thought I would show you guys just a quick little level up, because um, I do. I'm sort of um, getting used to just showing you guys a couple levels up, level ups every now and again. Um, only 65, nothing too special about that. Five levels off 70, which is what I'm going for. Um, I was just, I'm just trying to get these ogres, just because I need something to do AFK, because I was getting a bit bored of doing quests. Um, so instead of just logging off and then just watching Twitch or YouTube, um, I thought I may as well either alk, which I've been alking, almost 61 magic. Or I would alternatively just throw knives at ogres and get a little bit of range experience, um, just to uh, just to tide me over a little bit. There is the Shallow Village quest complete, two quest points, uh, three point nine k crafting experience, and I can also access the Shelly Village. Now I can Shiloh Village, not Shilo Village, Sean. Now I can access the Shiloh Village. I can um, shut up, dog. So after failing many attempts at the um, the agility parts of the quest, I did manage to complete the underground pass. I think this is the last step anyway. I'm oh there we go. So that's a lovely feeling. Five quest points, three k agility, and three k attack. The underground pass. That's a massive burden. Um, you know that's been I guess passed, but uh, that is now not on my shoulders. I guess you could say a burden that's not on my shoulders anymore. Um, and now I can, I guess, be less stressed with the Underground Pass because it is complete. And I also have finished the Charlotte Village quest as well. So two very important quests out of the way. And time to do some more quests, I think. Fun, fun, fun. This should be the last pickpocket if I succeed. There we go, 50 thieving. Um, I'm going to go jump over. I've just bought uh, 120 Renar weeds as well. Um, now, just as a point of reference, if you're ever buying uh, units or if you're trying to buy like a Renar seed, for example, 
and people offer you unidentified herbs, uh, don't take them because people will scam you. I have been scammed, not today, when I bought these ones because I went to Castle Wars and someone did try and sell me uh, unidentified herbs, like let's say one of these, um, and he, and he, they'll, even, they'll even say to you, oh, you know, check this, check one of the herbs and identify it, um, but it doesn't actually work. If you go and do that, it will be a runner weed, but when you buy, I, less, I guess, for example, sake, if you buy like 100 or 200 runner, uh, unidentified quote-unquote runners, um, you will be scammed. So make sure when you buy the runner weeds, just buy them as runner weeds, not un unidentified herbs to save you any money scamming um, because people do scam and it is kind of sad that people do scam uh, even in 07 regardless of the level. I've been scammed by level 120. I thought it was, would have been, uh, you know, would have been honest because there's you know level 120. Who who would be level 120 is still scams like a little three year old. But you know 100. Make sure you buy your NR weeds rather than the unidentified herbs. Um, so you don't lose any money. It's better spending a little bit more money than trying to buy really really cheap. Um, and losing all your money. So I'm gonna put these together and uh, get 45 herb lore, followed by 600 experience in crafting uh, to get me 50 crafting. So 45 herb lore, 50 thieving, 50 crafting, and then I can do the legends quest. And here we go, there's 45 herbal. I can now, oh, actually no, I can't quite do Legends Quest just yet. i got to do um, 50 crafting. And there we go, there is 50 crafting as well. I'm going to double check to see if we have all of the requirements for... There we go, uh, all of the requirements needed for the Legends Quest. I guess we can get cracking with that and see how difficult it is. I don't actually remember... Uh, if the quest was difficult or not, but I guess we'll find out. So a couple minutes later, I've managed to, I guess, finish the uh, the Legends quest, you know. The quest took me a little while, um, by a little, mile, a little while, it's probably taken me about two hours to complete. Um, call me a noob or whatever, but I guess, you know, it is what it is, but I'm not quite sure. To, I think I've got to go inside and collect it, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm pretty sure all I've got to do is look at the totem pole and... Nope, alright, let's speak to this guy now. I'm gonna... I'm gonna load them all onto Herbler, I think. There's a little bit more Herbler experience. Yep, definitely gonna load up Herbler, I think. Actually, I'm gonna do one agility level, just for the heck of it, I think. I'm gonna try it, old mate Urkel, I think. And boom! Get me those Legends capes, look at those. There we go, it's about time I've got a, a, a cape that's worth using rather than just running around with no cape or the graceful cape so I'm looking, the character's looking quite decent if you ask me so here should be the last step of the Sir Amic Vars part of recipe for disaster complete, there we go 4k cooking, 4k hit points, 1 quest point and the access to the dragon gloves, I'm gonna go grab them oh here we go, there's a little cutscene, here we go and I also decided just to jump on RS3 as well so all I'm doing on RS3 is basically just tuning the harp I guess you because hopefully I don't get put into the final final battle with the uh, uh, recipe for disaster thing I'm just gonna make sure um, but I've been just I guess tuning the harp just um, getting some what are they called they're um, pretty sure that they are the the harmonic dust because I just want to get the crystal uh, the crystal hatchet as well as the crystal um, the crystal pickaxe just it's something to do while I can uh, play RuneScape 07 and it's really 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 AFK all I've got to do is click on the harp every now and again and um, it will get me tons and tons of harmonic dust so that's all I'm doing on, on RS3 but um, I want this cutscene to finish so I can then so I can then go get myself those dragon gloves and there we go, the dragon gloves, the ultimate dragon gloves. I've only got one more gloves to go, and that's it, and they are the Barrows gloves. So I'm looking forward to getting those, but the dragon gloves will do um, in the time being. Yay!